there was already concern before these delays that it was taking a long time uh, to to roll out the vaccine, um, especially, you know, considering that the second dose was going to be delayed, that created some some worry uh, within the, the the healthcare setting. So now that we know that these are, delays are, are, are happening, uh, how big of a concern is this? How 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 worried should we be about these delays for Quebec? Well, I think that's the reason we did uh, an update uh, as quickly as possible. So what we did this announced this morning is that uh, we revise our objective from uh, 250,000 people being vaccinated for uh, February the 8th to down to 225, which is minor when you compare to the decrease that we had, which is over 80,000 uh, vaccine over the next three weeks that will be uh, delayed. So in that sense, I think people should be uh, reassured because two things, we, we, we go by, by class, by category of people, and again, I'll repeat that, I think to have now 80% or more of our CHSLD being vaccinated, more than 100,000 of our employees in the healthcare system being vaccinated, and I think we're going to be very close to our objective of, uh, of uh, F February the 8th, despite those delays. So I think uh, if you ask me, do we like those delays, yeah, you got the answer. The answer is no. But are we doing our best with the, um, the, the changes that we have? I think people were, will see over the next few weeks that we can still deliver a good part of the, of the plan, despite those adjustments. And hopefully uh, Pfizer, which uh, this is not under our control, will be able to uh, take back all those delays and in, in, in March that we catch up to make sure we, we get to our plan of 1.2, 1.3 million doses.